Hey guys, hope everyone's day is going well. So, today I'm going to be doing a review on a pretty new yo-yo that just came out, it's just hitting the yo-yo scene, but people are already loving it. This right here is the Thesis Yo-Yo's Hypothesis. Let's jump right in. So as usual, I gotta give a shout out to Thesis Yo's for making this entire video possible. They sent this yo very generously on over to me for review, so thank you Thesis Yo's. So real quick, I wanna talk about Thesis Yo's. Now if you guys remember, about two years back, I did a review on one of the yo's called the Serenade, and that was a super cool Delrin yo that I really, really enjoyed. So, guys, two years later, they're back. Back, baby. They've made a new yo-yo. This right here is the Hypothesis. It goes for $75, and by the way, the links to everything will be in the description down below, so be sure to check that out. And also in the description, I'll be posting you know, the contact information and the social media of Thesis Yo's, so be sure to check them out and give them a follow. With a yo that looks something like this, I'm sure you guys are curious about what the specs are. So, without further ado, let's check those out. So let's just take a quick look at the yo itself. We've got a very minimalist design. That was the first thing that kind of like hit me is how clean and minimalistic this yo looked. I got a really nice color right here. This is kind of the wine red color and I'm a, I'm a huge fan of it. There also are a bunch of other really cool colors which I'll post on the screen right here. So they've got a bunch of colors for just about everyone's style. So in regards to, you know, dimensions, it really isn't too crazy in any dimension. The width, I guess, at 45 millimeters is just about a millimeter wider than most yo-yos, but in general, it's a pretty standard yo-yo. One thing I do want to touch on that I really really like is that the bimetal rims are both inside and outside kind of the cup And so here's what I mean You'll notice that you know outside on the shape you can see the bimetal rims But they roll all the way over into the cup making them you know kind of an almost an inner ring bimetal design So it's super interesting what they've done here It's nice attention to detail and I'm a big fan of this design The shape of this yoke is really pretty interesting you know, we've got them some pretty beefy large rims and a couple like odd cuts that slopes down to the bearing. The cup itself is very nice and simplistic. You know, we got a couple cuts and then just, you know, a very flat center. Generally, again, this is a very clean and minimalistic yo, which looks super classy and nice. So I'm already a big fan of that. Now let's talk about the play of this yo right here. So the model that I received did have a bit of fingernail vibe. I just wanted to let you guys know. I'm not sure if I got just, you know, a B grade or a, mo a bad model or anything like that, but I just wanted to point that out. It did have a little bit of vibe. Now on the string, this yo feels really really great. It's a bit on the heavy side with some slower acceleration but once you get this yo going and it has a really nice amount of momentum that you know keeps it in motion. In general this yo just has really nice stability. It's not like super obvious but in general it just feels really great on the string. The rim weight and center weight of the distribution of this yo is also very very appropriate. It doesn't feel you know like it's rim weight heavy or center weight heavy. It just in general feels like a very nice weight distribution. The shape itself suits this yo very well. It's really really nice and catchable. Feels great on the string and you just you know, makes your tricks really nice and easy. The response system was pretty good for this yo. I did have some issues with slippy binds and regions. Now, I'm not sure if that's the response pads or the gap width or anything like that, but just something to point out, I did have a little bit of an issue with slippy binds, so keep an eye out for that. Brines with this yo are quite good. You know, we've got a really nice smooth matte finish all around the yo-yo, and so I think you guys are really gonna enjoy those because, you know, finger spins, finger grinds, they're all really, really great. All right, so conclusion time. This is a really, really solid yo from Thesis Yo-Yos. I really, really love the idea of having that kind of outer ring bimetal design that wraps all the way over to the inside. I think that's a really, really great design feature and I'd love to see more companies using that feature. Overall, this is a really, really solid yo-yo. It plays a little bit on the slower side and has a little bit slippy binds, but those were just like the two critiques I have. Everything else felt really, really great and I was really impressed with it. Thank you again to Thesis Yo's for sending me this yo. I'm super excited to see what they are producing next. All right, thank you guys all so much for watching my review of the Thesis Yo's Hypothesis. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. And also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, hit that subscribe button. I post videos about every single week. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.